So this Sunday after Thanksgiving, our family spent the day in Sacramento, and we were having lunch in Midtown Sacramento at this sushi Japanese restaurant. Now, I'm not a big fan of uh, sushi, Japanese food, but my wife said, you've got to try this vegetable tempura roll. It's amazing. So I thought, okay, happy wife, happy life. I'll give it a try, sure. So I'm not expecting too much, but anyway, they bring this sushi roll out, and it's a marinated seaweed. It has sesame. It has warm rice. It has like this little pickled ginger in it as well. It has avocado. and has little slices of onion in it. And I was using uh, chopsticks, so I take a bite, and Wow, all of a sudden it was like time slowed down. I couldn't believe how delicious it was. I mean, the flavors were amazing. And as I was taking a bite, I wanted like, I want everything just to slow down and I was going to savor the flavor. It was amazing. This month we've been digging into gratitude and gratitude really helps us to savor the flavor of life. Um, those things that matter to us that that we value, those people that we love, the gifts, the blessings, gratitude helps us to slow down and savor those. This month, we've uh, experienced gratitude on a number of different levels, whether it's been the hospital, uh, the gratitude wall, whether it's been the different signs, whether it's been around the Thanksgiving table with our family and friends, or whether it's been uh, coming alongside our Feather River family and those suffering from the just devastating loss from the campfires experience. But as we wrap up Gratitude Month, I invite us to not consider it as wrapping it up, but as a new beginning. That let gratitude continue on for us for, the whole, you know, for this whole new year. May we savor the flavor of life, and um, may we also be thankful to the giver of the gifts that we have, the Creator, the God that loves us, and that provides for us.